Catch Up Radio. And we're going to do interview with a Crown Royal. You know, uh, uh, first and foremost, bro, it's, it's always been a, a, a dream of mine to be on, on Catch Up Radio and have a, a conversation with you. It's actually on my vision board up there. So to actually be here today, David, I, I got to tell you, it's, it's a blessed man. I've been, I've been tuning in and listening to the radio show for quite some time now and you know it's just it's just incredible um to be here and you know dreams come true you first believe that they will I have to um clarify something though since we got crown now david so we don't go by mr Saxton anymore i really king Saxton the thing that got you know crown right yeah yeah so i know you didn't know but now you know so next time if i ever come back you know if you really properly address me um so david right now you know we just we just closed on a on a house in um in in south africa on the beach. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't know if you can hear the water. I've had the privilege of, of being able to set up our music. The music is near and dear to me. There have been a lot of persons that I wanted to help to produce and to so have a label. I've been able to, to help some up, upcoming artists and we've been able to be building and growing. There are a lot of persons that have stepped out and now have been getting awards here and there, billboards and other awards. But they've been, most importantly, they've been impacting lives with the music, changing lives with music they've been able to produce. And I've been a big part of that and I'm happy that God has used me to be a blessing. Well, I've been working for myself for a while. You know, I've always been working to get to this point to be free, to do what I want, to go what I want, um, and to go where I want. But it's not really about me. Um, I've always been inspired to impact people. So know that I'm a Crown Royale. I'm able to truly be a blessing to my friends, my family, and loved ones. Um, I don't know a more generous tipper than me. You know, I've helped so many people, young people, to pay their way through school. I've helped others to become millionaires and to become independent and to become free. I don't have any time for houses these days, you know. I was talking with my friend Shaggy the other day, and Shaggy told me, he said, it doesn't make sense to have a lot of houses or cars because you can only live in one. You can only live in one at a time. And Shaggy told me from experience that, you know, it is really the, the helpers and the dogs who are occupying his houses. So it didn't make sense. He got rid of them again. So for me, no, for me, no, I just focus on one major, one major, you know, one major center. You know, I choose Jamaica as a center, you know, because I want to give back to my people and I want to make a difference in the lives of the people who poured into me as I grew up. Yes, I am traveling like Traveling was a big thing for me. Like I always put it up everywhere that I'm going to be a world traveler. I'm a world traveler. But no, I travel all over the world. Um, Dubai was a place for me. I thought it was so far away. But no, Dubai for me is like a taxi, tax, like taking a taxi, like right there. So whenever I want to go to Dubai, I also own three houses in Dubai now. So it's really an awesome feeling. I remember when I was a child, I always tell my aunt, my auntie, you know, auntie, I want to drive a Lamborghini, but I don't think I can, I, I can afford a Lamborghini. You know, my auntie always said to me, Jada, don't tell yourself that. Whatever you work hard, um, hard for, you can get it. And look at me you now. Today I am driving a Aventador Lamborghini. And I'm not saying it to boast, but to actually show that when you put in the hard work, you can really get what you really want for true. I am living in Ibiza in a condo off of the beach. Um, uh, currently driving my own, myself with my Range Rover. Um, I do extend and pay it forward. And I do have a staff that, um, that helps me maintain my home. I have a house in the Alps. I'm really enjoying it. The plan is to really invite you guys over sometime. You know, my, my castle is your castle. I've always wanted, guys, I've always wanted a, a Jaguar. So now I have one of the latest SUV Jaguars and that's what I'm driving up and down. People see it on the road and they can't stop looking, but hey, I'm not mean with it. If I can pick you up and drop you somewhere, I'll let you know what it is like to, you know, to, to drive a Jaguar. And I tell you, life is good, life is good, life is good, life is good. 